recently about some um, cooking over the campfire. Now, we're not actually at the campfire, we're at our homemade fire pit. And we thought we'd just go through a few things, a few recipes, um, see what we can cook up. Okay, so we're going to start with the bit that always takes the longest. Uh, what we've done here, um, we've got a, a whole leg of lamb that we've deboned and butterflied out. That way it just cooks more evenly when you're cooking in a Dutch oven or even if you're barbecuing it. So what we've done with this before is we've just made a, a mint rub, give it some extra flavour. And we're not actually looking to roast it in a Dutch oven. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in the Dutch oven, we're going to add a little bit of water and we're just going to let the whole thing stew in its own juices. Just to tenderise it and then we're going to finish it later on, on the fire, in a, you know, like a barbecue fashion. So all we're going to do, take the meat, and all we're going to do is just add just a little bit of water. And you can top this up, but you'll actually get quite a lot of water come out of the meat, just the natural juices of it. And it will, then we're going to put it on the, put the lid on, and then we haven't started the fire yet, because it's not really necessary yet. We're going to start the fire now. I'm just going to put it off to the side of the fire, put a few coals on top, and just slow cook it for a good two hours. So a good thing we can do with our uh, our lamb, you know, the Mediterranean style, is have some Mediterranean vegetables with it. So some courgettes, some peppers, garlic, a bit of red onion, uh, you could add mushrooms, you could add basically whatever you want, aubergine, your choice. Dead simple and brilliant in a Dutch oven. All you've got to do, chop it up to all about the same size chunks, bung it in the Dutch oven, some salt and pepper, herbs, anything you want to do really, experiment. There's no real recipes here, this is all just stuff that we do at camp. Obviously we don't take the uh, flash salt and pepper shakers and big bottles of olive oil and all that sort of thing, but we break it down into little, um, into little kits, little pots. So one thing I do uh, get a bit funny about is the uh, I saw recently somebody reviewing one of our knives that uh, was trying to slice an apple with a, a big thick Scandi grind wood processing knife. Whereas what you really want is a good flat grind for your camp kitchen. Um, in this case I'm using a Wolverine but you know anything will do. Take a, take a cheap kitchen knife with you and just, just reserve that one for your, for your field kitchen. Because let's be honest you can't really do any proper kitchen work with a big thick scandy grind knife. I know everybody likes to use one knife, one tool. Well, it's not really practical if you want to eat well like this. Great if you're doing, you know, cooking a ration pack or something like that. You only need, really need one knife, one tool. But if you want to put a bit more effort in, you can literally, in the field, live like a king. And it's so simple, just effort in, result out. Easily chopped, done. So another great accompaniment to any dish, keep it simple, go, don't go fussy. Take, if you've got more than one Dutch oven, spuds, don't even bother peeling them. You can either just boil them up directly and have some nice boiled new potatoes, or what we like to do, stick them in a the Dutch oven, a bit of oil, maybe a bit of garlic as well, just stick them on the side of the fire, a few coals on top when you put the lid on and just let them roast. And yet that sort of thing you can put on near as damn it when you put the meat in because they might take an hour or two but you know we're not in any rush, we're having a nice dinner. So last part of our dish tonight and this is brilliant, it's so simple and one of the tastiest things you can eat. All we get some onions, some red or yellow peppers, depending on what you can get. And then I always get these, I can just get these from the supermarket, little strings of cook yourself chorizo sausages. I don't use the already pre-dried ready to eat ones. If you use these ones, um, they are delish, I can tell you. This is one of the best, this will, I guarantee how much, no matter how much of this we cook, 
it will always go. The lads will always wharf it down.